You want a work from home remote job. You want to be able to roll out of bed and work on your computer. And you want to have the freedom that comes along with it. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal nine great work from home jobs and talk about how much they pay as well. Now I've helped hundreds, if not thousands of people get remote jobs. And you can see interviews on my channel like Ivy, who went from a waitress to making over $65,000 a year. So I know exactly what to look for when it comes to a remote job opportunity. And that's all I'm going to be sharing with you today. The best opportunities out there. So go ahead, sit back, relax, Cheers the like button, and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a digital asset coordinator. So have you ever dreamed of being the Marie Kondo of digital files, creating order out of digital chaos? Do you freak out when you see someone's desktop and it's littered with files? Do you hate logging into your email after vacation and seeing hundreds of unread emails? Well, this might be the perfect career for you then. In this job, you will get paid to manage and organize digital assets, ensuring that they're easily accessible, and well-maintained. And digital asset coordinators make fifty-three dollars to $79,000 a year. Now that's pretty good money, but you can make even more money down the line. For instance, digital asset managers make about seventy-eight dollars to $138,000 a year. And directors of asset management make about $167,000 to $294,000 a year. And you could even go into a similar job that has a similar skill set, such as digital librarian, and they make fifty-four dollars to $93,000 a year. So yeah, there's a lot of opportunities at the entry level as well as down the line. It's also a really valuable skill set that there are many other jobs that you can apply it to. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a content marketer. Now, most marketers agree that over the last three to five years, marketing has changed more than 50 years before. That is a lot of change in a short period of time. And one of the biggest changes has been the value of content marketing. And that's why you hear the saying, content is king. And you can make content on various different digital platforms, such as YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. And Alex Ramosi has estimated that his content marketing returned a 27x ROI or return on investment over paid ads. So he was getting 27 times more profit from content marketing than he was with paid ads and he was really good at paid ads. So that is the power of content marketing. And in this position you can make about 44 to $80,000 a year. And in many cases it's an entry level position and it doesn't require a college degree. And there are other careers you could go into after this one such as director of content marketing. They make about 81 to $149,000. And there's careers that are more of a horizontal move such as content strategist. They make about 53 to $87,000. So so this teaches you an incredibly valuable skill set where you can earn money at the entry level, you can earn money down the line, or you could take your skill set and apply it to something else. And by the way, if you want to start your own YouTube channel, just like I did, I do actually have some free training. It's going to be Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, where I'm going to share all of the biggest secrets that helped me grow this channel to multiple six figures per month. So definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the description and the pinned comment below. And just for motivation, here's one of my students who had their first ever viral video, got 177,000 views, and it's growing their channel like crazy. So yeah, definitely check it out. Content Marketer gets a 9.5 five out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break, so I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you wanna work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be an Amazon operations analyst. And this is where you're basically going to be the mastermind behind optimizing sales strategies on Amazon. So as everyone knows, Amazon sells all kinds of different physical products as well as digital products such as eBooks now too. And that's why they call it the everything store. Everything, everything, everything. And they actually partner with individual businesses who sell most of the products on Amazon itself. And these individual businesses need employees inside of them because some of these businesses are making hundreds of millions of dollars a year. And this is where the Amazon operations operations analyst comes in. You're going to be monitoring and enhancing Amazon sales channels to maximize product visibility while maintaining compliance with Amazon's rules. And operation analysts in general make about 67 to $107,000 a year. And there's a lot of room for growth in this position. Lead operations analysts make 77 to $128,000 a year. Senior operations analysts make 98 to $162,000 a year. And vice president of operations makes 213 to $390,000 thousand dollars a year. Wow. Oh, and did I mention there's 4,000 jobs available? So clearly there's a ton of demand. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Now, on top of this, the skill set that you learn will allow you to horizontally shift as well. So for instance, you could become an e-commerce specialist. They make about 51 to $82,000 a year. You could also 
become a data analyst. They make about seventy to one hundred seventeen thousand dollars a year. Or you could become a supply chain analyst. They make about eighty four to one hundred twenty nine thousand dollars a year. So yeah, lots of opportunities here. Lots of different directions you could go, both vertically as well as horizontally. And learning these types of skills, you know, obviously it's digital marketing. In this particular case, it's digital marketing on Amazon. But just learning digital marketing in general is incredibly valuable, and it can lead to so many other opportunities. And there's a training which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below that will show you exactly how he did that. So definitely click that to check it out. You don't want to miss out. It's completely free. So yeah, this one's really good. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a virtual tax preparer. And this is somebody who prepares tax returns online and assists clients with their tax related questions. And believe it or not, you do not have to be an accountant in order to land this position. And this is one of those positions where there's a ton of demand at certain times of the year. So it can be good for a full time job, or it could be good for you to just work at certain times of the year and make some extra cash. And tax preparers make about forty-four to $77,000 a year. On top of that, what do you know? There's a career path as well. Senior tax preparers make fifty-six dollars to $104,000 a year, and tax managers make one hundred twenty-seven dollars to $211,000 a year. So yeah, really good money there. Lots of opportunity. You're also probably going to make friends with a bunch of different business owners. Now, I really appreciate my tax people, for instance. They're awesome. So yeah, this one's great. I'll give it an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a data entry representative. And I'll be really quick with this one because, you know, you probably probably heard it before, but this one is super, super easy to land. Even though it's not the sexiest career, it's just really easy to get a job and get your foot in the door. And yeah, you're basically going to be entering data from one place to another. And you don't have to talk on the phone and you don't have to be monitored or supervised really closely. And it's a remote job. So there's a lot to like here, but the position pays about 35 to $48,000 a year. So it is on the low end and it doesn't have much of a career progression. In fact, the highest level position would be a senior data entry clerk and they make about 40 to $54,000 a year. So not much more. But with that being said, this is a way to get your foot in the door. Certain jobs, for instance, you can work with data more than others and you can sort of design your resume and your portfolio in such a way where you can get yourself into the data industry and get into other jobs that are much higher paying. For instance, you could become a data analyst. So yeah, this one is really easy to get into, could be a good option for someone out there if they need to get a job really quickly. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a patient account representative. And this is where you handle patient billing inquiries and you maintain accurate medical records. So the US medical system is a huge mess. It's very difficult for anybody to navigate it and insurance complicates things even more. And so that's the value of this position to help smooth that over a little bit. And an interesting fact is medical billing and coding were standardized in the 1960s, which drastically improved the efficiency and accuracy of medical record keeping. So yeah, in this position, you'd make about 41 to $56,000 a year. So it pays decently well, considering it typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, and it's relatively easy to get into. But the highest position you could get into as a career path would be a lead patient account representative, and they make about 51 to $72,000 a year. So this career path is a little bit of a dead end. But with that being said, it's a good way to get your foot in the door in the medical industry. And then there are many other jobs in medical that are much better than this one. So yeah, this one's pretty good. Uh, medical jobs in general, they're solid. They don't usually pop off the page, but they're just really solid. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Another really good medical job is a medical benefits consultant. And if you've ever tried explaining Medicare to your grandma, try doing it for a living because in this position, you're going to be helping seniors navigate Medicare and Medicare is a giant cluster. <laughs> I would know because I used to be a pharmacist. Now this guy did a pretty cool video. Uh, this is the day in the life of a healthcare consultant. You can kind of see what the day in the life would be like, but in this position, you can make about 64 to $111,000 a year. So this is a very lucrative position to get into. It's basically a combination of a healthcare customer service representative and a salesperson because you're gonna be convincing them to go with certain plans over other plans. Now this can be somewhat sketchy, but with that being said, because of how complex Medicare is, it's actually pretty easy for you to save people money. So overall, this position does provide a good amount of value. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a paper claims processor. And this is where you're basically gonna be the Sherlock Holmes of insurance claims, deciphering the clues to make sure that everything adds up. And basically you're gonna be reviewing and processing insurance claims to ensure accurate reimbursement. And in this position, you make about 42 to $61,000 a year. So it's pretty good considering you don't usually need a college degree, previous experience, and it's relatively easy to get into. And down the line, you can become a senior claims specialist and they make 68 to $107,000 a year. Then you could also become a claims manager. They make 64 to $109,000 a year. And the skill set is going to carry over to other types of jobs horizontally. For instance, medical billing specialists make about 46 to $68,000 a year. And they have a relatively similar skill set. So yeah, this one's relatively good. Um, you know, not something you probably want to do for the rest of your life. 
Insurance isn't necessarily something a lot of people are passionate about. But with that being said, it's really easy to get into. You can get remote jobs. Typically doesn't require too much experience or a college degree. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below your favorite job in this video, or maybe the one you didn't like, or maybe the one that you thought I should have added. I love reading the comments, guys. A lot of the time I'll read them and I'll see a job and I'll end up adding it to a video. So definitely go ahead and comment. Next is going to be a premium auditor. And this is where you're gonna be auditing insurance company records to verify accuracy and in compliance with legal policies. So you're basically investigating the investigator. And premium auditors make 52 to $88,000 a year. Then senior premium auditors make 66 to $109,000 a year. And chief auditors make 172 to $321,000 a year. Wow. And there's also some horizontal moves you could make that have similar skill sets. For instance, compliance officers make about 76 to $140,000 a year. So lots of opportunities here, both horizontal and vertical. And again, insurance is not the sexiest thing in the world. I get it. But I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you want to work from home worldwide, I did make a video on the companies and the jobs that will actually allow you to do that. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.